Blast! 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 Scared it off. What? The hawk. Didn't you see it? It was huge. The motorbike scared off. It's gone into the wood now. The motorbike? The hawk! Oh. You didn't see it, did you? Honestly, my, you're dozy. I was listening to the bells. Our church hasn't got any bells. Maybe they're from the next village. It sounded nearer, though. Look, why don't you go into the wood and look for your hawk? Because there's a sign saying, no trespassing. Betsy would let you. It's part of her dad's farm. Who's Betsy? You know, Betsy Tranter. She's in dad's top class. Oh, yes. I've heard something about that wood. Didn't they chase some tourists out? Set the dogs on them or something? That was only because of the orchids. Wild orchids. They just don't want people to pick them, that's all. Mm. Oh, Tar! Tar! There he is! Oh, no, come on. He's after a rabbit. Well, we'll have to go in now. Orchids or no orchids. Peter? Hmm? I'm scared. Where is that dog? Peter! Hmm? Peter, look! It's okay, just stay still. It's gonna stop soon. In a minute, I'm just gonna back away very slowly and gently. Light Fang. I'm sorry, we didn't mean to trespass. Our dog wouldn't come back out. Don't mind he. They all come to me. But you got no right here. Tis our wood and no one comes. You best go. Okay. Get away from me. Get away from me, girl. Got witches, I she has got the sights. Don't be stupid. You shouldn't have come. Okay, we're going. It's the hawk. You won't tell him, will you? It doesn't for the likes of me to keep a hawk. I knows that. I notice the king's chase. But I only flame at rabbits, honest. And only now and then. You won't tell him, will you? I can fly him. He came to me with a broken wing. Now he's better. Tried to make him go, I did, but seems he don't want to leave. That's fantastic, Mr. Gocher's my name. No, mister. Look, Tos poor, it's bleeding. I I'll mend him for you. I, I know how. Just leave him here a day or two. Okay. I'll have to give me something for the trouble. Oh, yes, yeah, sure. I've only got 50p at the moment. Don't want none of that. Hey! What do you want? That? That's all old and rusty. It's not worth 50p. I want that. OK, please yourself. When should we come for tar? Don't do that! Leave him alone! That'd be Reeves' house. You leave him as they be for... When they come back. The other folk. They died. But they'll be back. When time comes. You best go. All right. Come back in a day or two. Find what you're I'll be up at World's End Farm. Tranter's Farm. 
Fetch him from there. A weirdo. Mm. Wish he hadn't have said all that about the other folk dying and coming back. Oh, he was just a bit cracked in the head. All that rubbish about the king's chase. He's great with animals, though. What about that hawk? Training it. Peter, what? Can't you hear anything? I can hear my stomach rumbling. Come on, it's fish fingers for tea. Fish fingers for tea. What's wrong with bacon and eggs? We had them for breakfast. Yes. Well, at least none of us will take your mother's cooking for granted anymore. I wish she'd hurry up and come back. Auntie Gwen's baby's taken a jolly long time to arrive. Yeah, jolly long. Dad? Yes? Our village church, it does have bells, doesn't it? Bells? I don't know. Come to think of it, I've never heard any. Ta? Ta? Where's Ta? We left him with Betsy Tranter. Betsy Tranter? He's hurt his paw. She said her dad would put it right. Well, you are honoured, boy. Never heard of the Tranters doing anybody a favour before. The Betsy's all right, but the rest are a funny lot. Still living in the last century, if you ask me. I wonder if they'll come to the meeting tonight. Tonight? Starts at six sharp. You are coming, I hope. Oh, but, Dad, it's football on the telly. Now, look here, Peter. It's taken me nearly the whole year we've been living here to get the old villagers and the estate people together under one roof. Frankly, I think they're only coming now because of Mrs. Fletcher's homemade cakes. But if my own children won't support me... Did you say cakes? Homemade cakes? Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm sure we all agree that that was a most interesting chat from the vicar about brass rubbing. Yeah, yeah. So, um, if anyone's interested in making some rubbings like these at the church, I'm sure he'd be pleased to see you. The minimum charge of 20p will go towards the organ fund. Well, a round of applause for the vicar, I think. See, tea's ready, so perhaps we'll all adjourn up. Uh, just a minute, gentlemen. Uh, just a minute, everyone. Yes, Major Pratt. Well, uh, uh, while we're all here, uh, it seems uh, a good thing to say, uh, on behalf of the people living on the estate, uh, that there is a growing feeling about the menace of motorbikes. Yes, I agree. They're a shocking danger to the children. Yes, uh, yes, indeed. They are disturbing the peace, uh, uh, ruining the village. Well, they don't bother us, do they, lad? No, they don't bother us. Well, it's your village. That's right, you said it. <laughs> you well, 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 I insist that something is done about it. Well, the village lads have got to have a bit of fun, eh? Oh. There ain't no bingo here. Well, best if we discuss this after tea. It's getting cold. Right. Come on, lad. I'm my Jenkins. Yes, I know. I'm Evadne Fletcher. Can I help? Yes, please. I'm telling you, Jenkins, it's getting like Brands Hatch. I shall organise a petition. And I'm really terrified for my Darren playing in the street. I tell you, Vicar, every time that... How are you? Have you done your homework? Thank you, thank you. What about I just get that petition look like. The schoolmaster's going to send it to the Prince of Wales. <laughs> <laughs> Nice tea, Mrs. Fletcher. Thank you, Mrs. Compton. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, but some people. How are you doing? Have you got cakes? Schoolmaster's doing his best. For an outsider. Won't do no good, though. Any news of your auntie's baby yet? Yeah. What did you know about her? Oh, there's not much I don't know about. I'm the district nurse. I followed in my mother's footsteps. Need the retreat, Mr. Jenkins. Oh, 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 I found out about your bells, Maya. The vicar says they went to make bullets during the war. Did he? Church bells? Yes. Now, why do you want to know about them? I just thought I'd heard them, that's all. Oh. Do you think I imagined it? Maybe. Maybe not.
World's End Farm. Looks like it. I told you the last time you're here, less than a month ago. Not another penny you're going to get. Not another penny. Do you hear that? It's all grub with you, Luke. Always was. Ever since you were a lad. I'd have taken you on here at the farm. You know that? No. Any job does you. I don't understand you. Chances have always been farmers. Take me for a fool, do you? Letting myself get stuck away down here, weren't for next to nothing. Backwater like this. Cheeky young lout. You can't live in the past forever, you know. You've never done a proper day's work in your life, have you? You've been working on the land, like the rest of the tranters. Never mind working in that mucky garage. Strangers. Well, we met this man Gocha. He's got our dog. We've come to fetch it. We looked in the wood. You've been in the wood? My dad wouldn't like that. Tired hurt his paw. Gocha said he'd put it right. Fancy him doing that. Usually sets the dog on strangers. He's in the shed just now. I'll show if you like. I thought he'd picked up a stray from somewhere. Hmm. Wart charming. That old goat's got warts and he charms them away. He's good at it. There's them as can and there's them as can. Well, let's talk. Right as rainy as now. Great. Thanks, Gocha. You sure she ain't got the evil eye? Not so as you'd notice. She's a pain in the neck sometimes, but not actually evil. There's no such thing as the evil eye and witches. Mustn't say that. It's unlucky. You'll be telling us you believe in ghosts next. My dad's seen one. He has. Close by the wood it was. Moonlight. Frosty night. No one goes near that wood night time now, except Gulcher. And they wouldn't harm him because he keeps folk out for him. Oh, come off it. Your dad must have a better reason than that for keeping people out of the wood. He's afraid of the sickness. The what? The orchids. I feared folk would come looking for the cup. But I got it hidden away. Go, you be quiet. They're not villagers. He's my friend. They're still outsiders. But that's somewhere before. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Why don't you stay? Stay for tea. Wouldn't your mum mind? Strangers and all that. She quite likes the chat, really. And she's just baked some bread. He's up now. You'll have to take us as you find us. We don't get many visitors up here. It's marvellous. Mum's away. Dad's cooking everything. Or oh, Maya. Maya? That's a nice name. Welsh, is it? Don't sound Welsh. Mum and Dad are. We never lived there. We were in London before we came here. Like it in the village, do you? Living in one of them new houses, I suppose, with electricity. Haven't you got any? Not even a telly. That's how you go on in the new estate, is it? All gadgets and television. I don't go up the village much. Why don't he? Huh? 
What does it look like? It's Peter and Moira Jenkins there. School teacher. Now Betsy thinks the world of your dad. She can't wait for the old days to end. I've been mending their dog. All right. God, you like some dad. He let him go in the wood. Did he now? Surprised he didn't set fang on you. I saw Goach's hawk. It was great. I'd love to watch you fly. Oh, Teachy. Fly him. Now, if you like. Great. Well, go on, it's all right. Come on, eat up. Have a piece of cake. Want to stroke him? Yeah. Nice and slow. Don't be worried, he won't go for you. Nice and slow so we can see where you're coming from. That's it. He loves that. He's beautiful to touch. He's beautiful. That Luke. He must be mad not wanting to work here. Mum hates him, but we have to put up with him because he's family. Family? Cousin of Dad's. Lives in a caravan on the other side of the wood. What is the mystery about the wood? It's not just because of the orchids, is it? I've noticed. None of the village people seem to want to talk about it. It's getting late. Mm. Off we go. Would you come to tea with us? Can I? Will your dad be there? I expect so. Come on Monday. Right then. Oh, Betsy, who is Gocha? Oh, he's my brother. Bye. Bye. Astrocoat. Astrocoat. You're sitting right in the Reeves house. A village. There was a village here long ago. Right. Astrocoat. But what happened? They all died. Sickness. Sickness. I saw it. What do you mean? I saw it all with crosses on. Villages. 
all over England. Don't come back, though. <laughs> Not the sickness. I got it hidden safe, see? I have. It's all right. Sickness won't come back while I got this safe. What is it? It's a chalice from a church altar. Church? It's old, isn't it, Coacher? Ought to be in a museum, really. No. Mustn't leave here, never. No. It's part of Astacote. She knows. I, she knows. But, Coacher, that's gold and silver. It's terribly valuable. Too valuable to leave here. I'd never to have told he. You'll take him away and sickness will come back. No, it won't. The plague was all due to rats and bad sanitation. Nothing to do with the chalice. Mustn't take him away. Mustn't tell. We won't tell. We promise. Cross your heart. Hope to die. Cross my heart and hope to die. Cross my heart. I hope to die. Should never have told him. Never. No one. The sickness. The sickness. The sickness. I look for Goucher everywhere. In the woods. All around. But he just seems to have vanished. Where's Peter? Out. I thought Betsy Tranter was coming for tea. She's not turned up. Oh, well, never mind. They're funny, these village people, especially the Tranters. Dad? Yeah? You know those people who see things that aren't there? Yes. Do you think they're daft? Well, it depends what you mean by seeing things. You don't mean pink elephants, that kind of thing. No. Well, then. It could be something to do with a fourth dimension. You know, the mind jumping out of its own time. It's all relative time, isn't it? Why? Do you know somebody like that? Yes. And do you think she's daft? No. with you. Peter, there's something wrong. I know there is. We've got to go into the woods. The woods? It's the middle of the night. It's not. It's morning. Please. All right. Hurry, Peter. Maya, why are you getting in such a state?
she doing? She's crying. <laughs> Why did you show it? Why? Should know. Should never have shown. <laughs> What was that all about? The chalice! Peter, it's gone! No, it can't have. Yes, it has! Look! It must have been Gocha. He was so scared we'd tell. He's taken it away, hidden it somewhere. But Betsy doesn't know that. She said he should never have shown it. So Betsy must know that Gocha showed it to us. Or guest? Oh, Peter! She must think that we've taken it! She must! That's why she didn't come yesterday! We've got to go up there! Tell them! Not now. I think I'll feel more like facing Mr. Tranter after breakfast. Come on. Look out! It's a badney! The district nurse! Right, Mr. Tranter. Maybe they're out. They never go out. Look, there's Betsy! Betsy! Go away! Get out of here! Betsy's sick! Mrs. Tranter! Your order, get out. And you bring it back. Before it's too late. Once. People started with colds. Then they got horrible great lumps all over them. And they fell down dead. Oh, my, stop it! Oh, Peter. Look, Maya, it couldn't happen now. Even if it did break out, there's antibiotics and things. People wouldn't die. Maybe you'd feel better if we told Dad. We can't! Cross my heart and hope to die. That's what we said. Okay, calm down. Yeah, lovely. Uh huh. Yes, yes, I will. They've, they've just come in. It's a boy. Gareth Ivor David. When? Three o'clock this morning. Yes. Yes, I will, love. Yes, I'll be down tomorrow. Bye. Right. Peter, let's get down to it. Can't have this place looking like a tip for your mother. Now, take these upstairs. And Peter, your room looks like a bomb's hit it. Do something about it! Now, I'll probably be back Saturday. I'm going to see if Mrs. Dexter can have you for a couple of nights. Oh, and Maya, I want you to go down to the village, get some shopping. Dad? No buts! Shoo! Gary Thiever, David. Closed. Not bank holiday, is it? Not that I know of. Nice way to run a business, I must say. Maybe somebody's died. If you know what's good for you, you'll clear out of here. Go on. Come on, 
inside for a minute. Listen. Now listen to me. Betsy has not got the Black Death. Do you honestly think she had? It's months she's got, that's all. There are two or three cases of it in the village. You sure it's not the plague? Positive. I'm the nurse, I should know. But the crosses! Just people letting their imaginations run away with them. Haven't you told them that? Till I'm blue in the face. But it's no good. Superstition's a funny thing. I mean, we've always known the stories about the wood and Astacut and the sickness, but no one's taken much notice. I don't think anyone's ever seen the cup, the chalice, except the Tranters and you. It was just, oh, I don't know. Because the cup was safe, the village was safe. Nothing so bad, nothing so terrible as the sickness could ever touch us again. But now they know the chalice has gone, anything could happen. The old fear is coming back. Past isn't very far away, you know. Not in a place like this. Hey, Baddy, send that child away. Mother! She lives on the estate. You don't want it spreading up there, do you? Mother, there is nothing to spread but mumps. That's not what I've seen. I've just been visiting Mrs. Barnett's boy. He's shivering with the fever. Tis the sickness of Adney. The old sickness. Will you stop it? Now get her away. Or she'll take the fever. Mark my words. Come on. I'll give you a lift over. She believes it, Evadne. Yes, I know. And they'll all believe her. The older ones, anyway. She's still the real nurse, as far as they're concerned. If she's not careful, someone's gonna die. Die? Of mumps? No, of fear. Of believing what they're told. We've got to find Gocha. Get the chalice back. Well, someone has, and the sooner the better. There's no sign of him anywhere. No fang, no hawk, no nothing. Oh, I give up. You can't. Read that. Where? Superstitional fact. In the tiny village of Charlton Underwood, local people are disturbed by persistent rumours of a mysterious illness. Oh, it's all getting out of hand. I wish we'd said something to Dad before he went away. Nothing will be right until Gocha comes back. Maybe the local police could find him. At least they might listen to us. But it all sounds so daft. I know. Still, we could try. I think we should. All right. What's going on? Looks like some television people. Ready? OK, speed. Charlton Underwood is a pleasant backwater scarcely touched by the 20th century. Many of the village families have lived here for generations. Everything is quiet. Everything is quiet here now. But beneath its placid surface, something rather sinister is going on. Perhaps you, sir, could tell us something about it. Pardon? Has your family lived here a long time? They might have. Then again, they might not. I see. Well, perhaps you could tell the viewers something of the meaning of the crosses that have appeared on some of the cottage doors. Perhaps I could. But I don't reckon I will. Come, Come on, Peter. I don't want to watch. It's no good trying to talk to the police now, anyway. We've got to get a shot of those crosses, Julia. Maybe if I just did a piece on the bridge or something, made something of the silence. Poking their noses in. They'll only make things worse. They don't realise how serious the village people are. Maya! Look! The hawk! It's Gocha! Come on! There 
There he is. Come on. Gocha! Gocha! Gocha? Gocha, it's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We've been looking for you for days. There's real trouble in the village. Why did you run away? I was afraid to tell. I was scared. It'll be all right. Once you've put it back, they'll know. I can't put it back. Why not? Betsy knows. Look, we'll put it back if you like. Nobody's going to hurt you, honestly. I can't put it back. I didn't take him. I found him gone and, and I was scared to tell. So I came here to hide. If he hasn't got it, who has? There's still no reply from Evadne. No wonder. There's chaos in the village. They've barricaded themselves off. What? They must have done it in the night. On. We saw it on the telly last night. Well, then, if you know, you know there's sickness here and you'll clear out for your own good. I've sent for the police. You've gone too far now, Craddock. This is a public right of way. Keep your nose out, Pratt. If there's illness in the village, then the public health authorities must be sent for. I'm warning you. Hear that? Your witnesses. Threats now. Blasted outsiders. Backwoodsman. You think you're a law unto yourselves? Nobody asked you to come here! Pity idiots. Let me get at him. Officer, there's an epidemic here. What are you going to do about it? They should get the health authorities in. My Darren's not safe. I think we can get to a fad the other way. Come on. I'm scared. You know, nurses aren't supposed to say things like that. But I am. I was so sure Gocha would turn up and everything would just calm down. Be a bit of a laugh, maybe. Nobody's laughing out there. But they won't be allowed to leave it. I mean, the council will knock it down, won't they? That won't be the end of it. I heard Tom Craddock and the others talking last night. They're determined to shut themselves off. By force, if necessary, and just wait to die. But Avadne, this is the 20th century. It couldn't happen. Well, it's happening to Betsy already. She thinks she's going to die. It's just like witchcraft and curses. If you believe it, it can actually happen. Her temperature's sky high. She's delirious, raving on and on about Luke Tranter, of all people. What's that? My mother, wanting a cup of tea. Mother, I've told you before, there is nothing wrong with you. Do you hear me? Nothing. Evadne, what exactly did Betsy say about Luke? Nothing that made any sense. Only, Maya, do you remember what Goja said? He said, Betsy knows. Oh, yes. Luke Tranter. Peter, he's got it. Right, that's it. Hang on a minute. Don't go jump to conclusions. The Tranters heard what Betsy was saying, just like me. If they'd suspected Luke, they'd have gone after him before now. They didn't think he knew where it was hidden. No, they hate him. But how did he know? He must have made Gocha tell him. And I know why. Luke wanted money. That day when Mr Tranter was so angry with him, I'm sure he'd been asking for money. Yeah, and he'd get lots of money for that chalice. Oh, Evadne, I'm sure he's right. I've just thought. In the wood that morning, Betsy said he should never have shown it. Gocha must have told her he'd shown Luke. Betsy knows. 
It all fits. I think you're right. The only thing is, Luke's still here. He was down by the barricade this morning. Unless... Well, Luke's always been a bad lot, but he's not stupid. He's bright enough to know that if the chalice vanished and he went at the same time, everyone would smell a rat. No. He'll wait just long enough, then he'll go. And a long way, I reckon. He'd never get rid of the chalice round here. And I think he'll go soon. Well, somebody's got to stop him. Couldn't we search his caravan? I'd rather we went to the police. No. If the police get involved, it'll all come out. Tom Craddock's the only one that can deal with Luke. Now, there's a meeting this afternoon, just some of the old villagers. I'll tell him then. And we'll go and keep an eye on the caravan. No sign of him. Can't we go and look? Now? No, we can't. You can't put down a man trap, Tom Craddock. You're out of your mind. We've had enough, haven't we, lads? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. All them people coming down, taking pictures, all that lot from the television, yeah. and the people from the estate poking their noses in. Yeah. We just wants to keep to ourselves. That's right, Paul. Right. Yeah. Now then, Fred. You're going to be in charge of the stick men down at the bottom of the lane. The chance. And you're going to take all the riflemen up by the pub. Well, but you don't shoot unless you have to. What do we shoot at, Tom? Nothing, Frank Turner. Set them old rooks, maybe. We don't aim at no bloodshed. We just wants to scare them all. You can't set up private armies. The police will stop you. The police should have stopped them coming down here, making a nuisance of themselves in our village. Oh, for God's sake, stop this before someone gets hurt. You won't be content till the sickness spreads. Epidemic. What sickness? What sickness, she says. Oh. I know, I've had a touch of it. Mother, you can't have a touch of the Black Death. Oh, not Tom, Tom, will you listen to me, Tom? Tom? This here boy, he ain't seen service since the Battle of Waterloo. <laughs> <laughs> this is turning into a war. There is no need for it. Oh, take no notice of her. Luke will come back soon, Peter. I know he will. All right, all right. I'll go and see what's happened to Evadne. Get some help. Hurry, Peter. You just keep watch, that's all. You leave my stuff alone. It isn't yours. You caused all the trouble in the village. Give it back. And who's to say I've got it? Only you. And you're just a kid. Give it here. No! Come back! Come back! Bring it back! You mustn't take it! You mustn't!
check them back. Well, that's it then. There's a bad me. It's all right. Gooch has got it. We must tell the Tranters. Oh, they've got to stop the villages before it's too late. They're the only ones who can. Ah, Craddock. You seeing you, George? Right. Good night, friend. Hello. Now, now look it's here. A lovely hey. evening, isn't it, Major? What? For the time of year, nice. But, but, but I'll have you know that I've got a lump on my head the size of an egg. Oh dear! Something fell on me, did it, sir? Oh, it's a pity. Here, buy him a drink, Tom. That'll make it better. Oh, do that. Gotcha. I've been waiting for you. Gotcha, why did you run away like that? I had to hide it again, didn't I? I found a new place. Gotcha. No. I ain't gonna tell you. I ain't gonna tell no one ever again. Right. We're going up to the farm now. See Betsy. Bye, Gotcha. Bye. Mum's coming back tomorrow. Everything back to normal. Hmm. All looks so peaceful now. Come on. Just as if nothing had ever happened there. Maya. Coming. <laughs> 